what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so james jude courtney who has been portraying the shape in has been in halloween kills and halloween 2018 he has uh basically kind of more or less confirmed because things could always change i, I want to say this is just very a fluid thing that could change he has stated in a cameo that he did for a fan one of those little cameo videos that you can request from certain actors who have this set up he has disclosed that halloween ends the concluding chapter in this new timeline that we all have been dealing with since 2018 this will start filming in the fall later this year presumably again out in wilmington north carolina where we know halloween kills was shot and halloween not halloween 2018 but um i meant to say screen five so we know we're getting Halloween kills later this year, but James Jude Courtney has made it clear that the plan, I guess, as of right now, that we should expect Halloween ends to start filming is later this fall. Now, I know that sometime last year, reports were coming out about the film filming in a couple of months, sometime in 2020. That, of course, was put on pause for things that we already are aware of as to why. So the fact that they're going to try to shoot the film later this fall and get it out in time by 2022 that's not something that's far-fetched because i believe if i'm remembering correctly halloween 2018 was shot and released in the same year shot and released in the same year premiered at tiff to an amazing response and debuted at 100 percent on rotten tomatoes even though that was like with a few small small reviews at the time and then it went on to be a big success when it was released to the general public in october so the fact that they're going to film Halloween ends in the fall of this year and then release it by 2022 next October, they can do that. They can do that. If nothing ends up coming in the way, any more hurdles, uh, that's something that they can do. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens. I hope production goes smoothly. James U. Courtney, we know he's the one that's been portraying Michael Myers again, as I mentioned in the last two installments, Halloween Kills and Halloween 2018. So with him being back as this character once again he's doing he's been doing a phenomenal job so i can't wait to see how they wrap things up with halloween ends when it starts shooting later this fall in wilmington now if i had to guess what month it would start filming i'm going to just go out and say most likely october october um i mean why not i you can film it in october film it in october the month that halloween kills is coming out I think that would just draw more attention to Halloween Kills. Uh, that could be like another, another little marketing tactic. Like, you know, while we have our Halloween Kills movie coming out in a couple of days, we're also in the process of shooting in Wilmington for Halloween Ends. So that would be another thing to kind of the production of Halloween Ends being used as a way to hype up Halloween Kills pending release in October. Now, maybe they should also just wait until, of course, they have their red carpet premiere but again, you can you can start production and then put things on pause if necessary to go do the red carpet stuff. But most likely after the film is released in October, if they were to start filming in October, that's when they would probably start filming. Halloween ends, I mean, they won't I don't think they'll start filming it and then put things on pause just to start up marketing for Halloween kills. Um, so that's what James U. Courtney had to say about that. Now, what do I think will happen in Halloween ends? Now, I've made this perfectly clear in a few other videos i think that allison strode will be the one who will have that final confrontation with michael myers the shape in the end of this i think she will be the one to pass have the torch passed to her to kind of be the thing that says you know what i'm not going to go through the same things that my mother and my grandmother went through i'm going to put an end to this once and for all my generation and the generations after me are not going to be suffering with the mem with the memory of a night like this we're going to remember this in a, we're going to remember this night as the night that you died, the night that I set my grandmother free from her trauma and I learned how to stand on my own and let and let her see that I can stand on my own and that you should not have any control over her the way that you have had mentally because of her lack of lack of ability to move on from the trauma you caused her all those years ago in 1978. So I think that's what will happen. A lot of you think it should be Laurie Strode and I get it. Michael Myers, Laurie Strode. That's kind of been the thing that we've been dealing with since the first film. But honestly, the way things have been told and the way things seem to be going, I don't really think it would make the most sense for Laurie Strode to be the one that ends this. Laurie Strode is not the youngest of these three Strode women. The youngest here 
and the one who's been pos positioned as a way to kind of parallel that character is her own granddaughter allison strode um allison should be the one that has the final say against michael myers she should be the one that kills him too and if it's laurie i won't be upset at that jamie lee curtis is amazing as this character and it would be something that's still logical but i just think the more logical thing to do here is to have laurie have some type of moment with michael early on but that's not the last time michael is put down michael will then possibly do something that puts laurie out of action and then it's just allison and the shape to a fight to the death allison will run around at some random location presume presuming this will be let's say it's the myers house let's say the myers house let's say the myers house doesn't have anything detrimental happen to it in halloween kills it returns for halloween ends everything involving what we have come to know and love about this current timeline starting all the way back to halloween 1978 where it started it will end inside the myers house and that would just be another fitting thing as well since it started with michael myers killing his older sister in her bedroom after she got done making out with her boyfriend on halloween night uh presume let's presume that rob zombie was right he was upset about her not taking him trick-or-treating <laughs> so so it started there and it's only fitting that it would end in his house but this time he's going to be the one taking that knife not his sister um and i think it would also be fitting if he took it in the same room judith died in i think that would be fitting too you know you reap what you sow you're going to die in the room that you killed your sister and you're going to die in her bedroom maybe not in the same fashion but i think that would be very symbolic uh, if michael myers died in judith's bedroom bedroom you know because had you not have killed judith michael you you wouldn't have had the life that you've had we don't understand we don't need to understand what's going on inside his head he's clearly someone who's deeply disturbed but you know they've tried to give us answers in the past and the answers that, that they've given us they've, they've not been satisfying at all they've tried to give us things related to cult stuff um the whole sister angle and the whole kill your bloodline stuff that was not satisfied but let me know what you guys think about halloween in starting production later this fall if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future but other than my guys i will see you in the next video